What's up everybody? Dr. Adam Rajul, board certified family medicine physician and CEO of Lion Edge Nutrition. Creatine is a nitrogen containing organic acid found naturally in the body, which helps to supply energy to all cells in the human body, primarily muscle cells. This is done by increasing the formation of adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP. Found primarily in red meat, one would have to eat roughly 500 grams of raw meat or fish daily to ingest the optimal amount of creatine. Since this is not realistic, supplementation with creatine is both crucial and advisable for athletes. Various studies have shown a significant positive correlation between creatine use and levels of testosterone and insulin growth factor, thus resulting in increased muscle growth, strength, and recovery which is why creatine is a crucial ingredient both in the pre- and post-workout periods. Research has also shown significant increases in lean body mass, muscle hypertrophy among both fast and slow twitch muscle fibers, as well as a one rep max in participants who took creatine monohydrate with their post-workout protein blend. Studies have also linked creatine with decreased levels of myostatin, which is a protein that has catabolic effects on skeletal muscle, limiting the growth of muscle tissue. Crealkaline is a multi-patented, pH-buffered creatine monohydrate and is the only 100% stable form of creatine due to its alkanized pH of 12 because its molecules are synthesized with buffering agents using a patented manufacturing process. Crealkaline is significantly more soluble in water than creatine monohydrate, which considerably reduces the probability of waste. Due to its higher solubility in plasma uptake, the recommended dosage of crealkaline is much lower than that for creatine monohydrate and other creatine products. Research has found that less than 3% of the original amount of creatine monohydrate is transported across the intestinal cells within 90 minutes, which results in limited uptake of creatine monohydrate by the intestines, thereby muscle absorption. Stomach upset from creatine monohydrate is therefore a result of the water drawing into the intestines. This can also cause water retention in the subcutaneous space under the skin, which can give the appearance of bloating. Since crealkaline is completely soluble in water, virtually none of the crealkaline is converted to creatinine, which is an unusable byproduct of creatine monohydrate. In the double-blind clinical study comparing crealkaline to creatine monohydrate, the crealkaline group experienced an overall average strength increase of 28.25% above those in the unbuffered creatine monohydrate group. Since you don't have to cycle off crealculin, you can take it all year long and not risk a plateau, unlike other forms of creatine. Most supplement companies still use creatine monohydrate and other cheaper forms of creatine, usually in forms of complexes, due to their much cheaper manufacturing costs. You'll see many different creatine products. Now, the creatine that has the most research that's been stable of creatine is creatine monohydrate, right? Um, hundreds of research, research studies on performance, strength. What crealkaline is, it's, it's a creatine monohydrate, but it's, it's, been, it's a patented creatine where it's, it is the only stable creatine on the market. It's the only creatine that's 100% soluble. You know, there's creatine HCL, there's other creatines. Creatine HCL, you're already losing 40 to 50% of your creatine monohydrate just from the, the acidification process, right? So you're not getting the desired effects that you would get from creatine monohydrate. Um, it, there's other creatine like esters, other, other different types of, and forms of creatine. There's essentially no studies on it. There may be one study on, on each of these creatines. Uh, Crealkaline is patented, has, has had uh, numerous studies supporting it, both uh, in the lab and clinically, it's the only creatine that doesn't that doesn't uh, basically get converted into creatinine. So, if any people with kidney issues, uh, if, if, you, if you're having kidney issues, what do we measure as doctors? We measure creatinine. Creatinine is a waste uh, waste byproduct of creatin, creatine. Uh, once creatine gets uh, uh, absorbed into the bloodstream, it converts into creatinine, which is bio waste. So, all these bad side effects to hear about creatinine uh, creatinine with uh, kidney failure, you know, bloating, diarrhea, water retention. 
that's all be from the creatinine. Now, that's, that can happen with creatine monohydrate once it uh, gets absorbed into a bloodstream and then it converts into creatinine. That does not happen with crealcalin. Think about a kidney stone. If it's an acid stone, what do you do? You, 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 you drink things that can make your uh, blood more alkalinized. It'll increase the pH so the stone gets absorbed. If it's a basic a stone with a basic pH, you want to drink something acidic, right? Um, so drinking something acidic when it's getting absorbed into your stomach acid, which is already acidic, doesn't really make too much sense. You want to alkalinize it. Um, so we, we are using this uh, patent creatine. We're the only post-workout product that uses this creatine. Again, why? Same reason as, as all the other ingredients. It's more expensive.